I mean, how in the world could he say that's a feel-good win? Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Phillies on Social Media. Jerry Kappen tonight's game between the 50 Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. As the Phillies defeat the Pirates by a final score of 8-7 to seven as they take the first game of this four-game series. Uh, but at one time, they led this game 8 to nothing. They allowed the Pirates to score seven unanswered runs uh, to make it a one-run ball game. I mean, my goodness gracious. Now, guys, before I get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn the bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, so I've never seen a team, uh, you know, have an enormously like the Phils, and then they just allow their opponent to come back in the ball game, uh, and it's like a nail biter. I, I just never seen anything like it in my entire life. Uh, so, uh, you know, the Phils do that tonight, and it's just, it's always something. Like Jerry really, you are a joke. You are an absolute disgrace. Get off this team. Another great signing by Dave Gabrowski. One year, six million dollars. This guy, uh, you know, just growing cutters over the middle part of the plate. My gosh. Please leave. Please leave. Now, this guy is terrible. Absolutely horrible. I said in the moment we signed this guy. I mean, this is a mistake, and uh, look what he has done. He's been nothing short of a disaster. You could take a look at Brad Hanna, guy that got the same exact money in years. One year, six mil, and look how much better Brad Hand has been compared to the disastrous Jerry Familia. He has just been a joke. Uh, he needs to be designated for assignment. Uh, so he has just been horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And get him out. I'm tired of him. I don't want to see him anymore. I mean, think about it. He, he was put in. He was put in here, you know, in the bottom of the ninth inning because we had a really big lead, and we're going against a really bad team, and he couldn't even get the job done. He reminds me of, like, the Will Smith. Of the Atlanta Braves, right, the other night against the Phillies, right? Uh, you know, said it was going, you know, real, you know, hard on Will Smith. I'm going to go real hard on Jerry Familia. Uh, he was much worse than Will Smith is. As a big of this going summary here in the top of the first inning, Derek Hall triples on a uh, short fly ball to center field. Uh, Reese Hoskins and Al Bohm come around to score as the Phillies now lead it 2 to nothing. Uh, so Derek Hall with his first career triple. Uh, so they score the red hot album and Reese Hoskins. So it's 2 0 Philadelphia here in the first. So we jump off to a fast start indeed. Uh, so a fast start indeed. Derek Hall just continues to be a uh, slow clutch for this Phillies team. I mean, he's, he's a rookie. He's doing amazing things. So we pick it up here in the same inning. Nick Castellanos. Uh, singles on a uh, sharp line drive to left field. Derek Hall comes around to score easily from third. And it's now 3-0 Phillips. Uh, so Nick Castellanos uh, with a uh, you know rare hit with an scoring position, right? I mean, he uh, actually got the job done. Uh, so, of course, I was making a video about him this afternoon uh, discussing his struggles, breaking them down. I mean, he has a three-hit night tonight with three singles. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but uh, he certainly had a good night tonight for the Phils, no question about that. Uh, so we got off to a fast start. Then we pick it up here in the top of the second inning. This guy is incredible. He's doing amazing things. He's been one of our best uh, hitters up at the plate. Alec Boehm singles on a sharp line drive the other way. Two right field, of course. It's the other way. Uh, this guy just hits everything the other way. Matt Veerling comes around to score. Uh, and the Phillies now lead it 4 to nothing. Uh, so Alec Boehm, this guy is on an absolute tear. I mean, this guy is just incredible. Uh, so, uh, I mean, wow. I mean, wow. I mean, every ball that's hit off his bat is hard hit. Um, and, uh, I mean, not to mention, I mean, the guy is, just continues to hit the ball at the right field, which I love. I love the fact that he does go the other way as a target. I like to see him pull the baseball a little bit more. He's definitely kind of a unique hitter in a lot of ways. I mean, very rarely do you ever see a guy uh, go to the opposite field just like so consistently. I mean, wow. Uh, then we pick it up here in the top of the sixth, inning a Schwar bomb alert. As Kyle Schwarber unloads as he homers on a fly ball to right center field. A three-run shot as the score is veering and uh, Stubbs. Uh, Schwarber's 32nd of the season. Uh, so he gets his RBI total now up to 64, which is uh, towards the tops in the National League. And it's now 7-0 Philadelphia. So Kyle Schwarber, uh, a Schwar bomb, right? A Schwar bomb. Uh, so, I mean, wow. Uh, this guy, it seems like every, he's either, you know, hits home run or he strikes out. 
Uh, but so he definitely unloaded on that one. We think about it, eight home runs shy of 40. I mean, eight home runs shy of 40. I mean, that would be the first time in his career. He's got to set a career high in home runs this year, assuming he stays healthy. Uh, so he's definitely had one heck of a season for sure with the with the long ball. Then we pick it up here in the top of the seventh inning. While he actually did something, is Didi Gregorius singles on a short line drive to right field. Nick Castellanos comes around to score, and it's now eight nothing Phillies. Uh, so uh, Didi Gregorius, uh, you know, is driving in Nick Castellanos. Uh, so, uh, when, wow. I mean, uh, wow. He actually uh, got the job done right there. I mean, it seems like every ball that this guy hits is on the ground. Uh, it's a lot of ground balls. That's for sure. I mean, he has to have one of the most uh, high ground ball rates as any hitter in the major league. I mean, towards the top. My goodness gracious, this guy hit a lot of ground balls. Uh, then we pick it up here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Zach Wheeler allows the first two runs for the Pirates. Uh, as uh, Cat Mitchell, homers on a fly ball, two center field, the start of the season, a two-run shot as the scores, Madris, and it's now an 8-2 to two ball game. So the Pirates get a little bit closer now. This is a six-run ball game. Uh, so, and that was a mistake by Zach Wheeler, pretty much the only mistake he made all night. Uh, but, uh, I mean, he was still, you know, pitched very well today. I mean, he was able to get out of that inning, thankfully. He went seven, uh, and that was pretty much his only mistake of the evening. I mean, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Let me pick it up here in the bottom of the ninth inning. We bring in the disastrous Jerry's field. So think about this. We have a six-run lead going against one of the worst teams in baseball. Uh, and, uh, I mean, you're bringing in a guy, I mean, he was absolutely terrible. And he can't even get the job. He collects one out. He collects one out, uh, and he gets smacked with five earned, a six ERA for this guy. Uh, get him out, get him out, get him out. DFA, 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 and another wonderful signing by the wonderful Dave Gabrowski. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, it doesn't make a genius. I mean, this guy was not worth $6 million for the year he had last year. Uh, as Tyler Hinman, uh, singles on the line, trying to use center field. Greg Allen uh, and uh, Kessel come around to score. As the Pirates now cut the lead in half down, 8-4 to four ball game. I mean, an eight to four ball game. Uh, so, I mean, they just uh, they were just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Uh, they would pick it up here in the same inning. Kevin Newman triples on a sharp line drive to left center field into the gap. Josh Van Meter in. Uh, Tyra Hannon come around to score, and it's now an eight to six ball game. You're thinking like, what the heck? I mean, you're up eight nothing. The Pirates have now scored six unanswered. Uh, now they have your runner third or one out. You're thinking like, I mean, even if we win this game, you're thinking like, what the heck, man? Uh, I mean, it just this was not a very decisive win. This wasn't like really a feel good win. I mean, you could have had a laugher here, uh, and you allow the Pirates to come all the way back like this. Uh, then in the same inning, Anil Cruz grounds out the second, uh, and uh, Kevin Newman comes around to score from third uh, as the Phils trade it out for a run, uh, and it's down eight to seven ball game. So now just a one run ball game. You allow the Pittsburgh Pirates, the measly and pathetic Pittsburgh Pirates, to come back uh, and score seven unanswered. Uh, as uh, you'd win eight to six, that's your final score. I mean, but still, I mean, uh, this—I mean, this—I just kind of have a bad feeling about this game. I mean, I, I'm glad we won. A win is a win, but I mean, seriously. I mean, come on. Chris Mueller smack with five earned, and all deservingly so. Uh, but Zach Lear does get the win. He pitched very well. Uh, Kyle Shore with two knocks out of the leadoff. He's back up there now. Uh, that's where he should be. Uh, and, of course, uh, the three, three RBIs on the three-run shy. Two or four average now for Schwarbs. This is OPS now jumps up. Uh, now above that 800 mark. Uh, now at 808. Uh, so 64 RBIs for Schwarber. Uh, so, I mean, that's just incredible. I mean, 64 RBIs, 32 home runs. Uh, so, he He's certainly done a good job with that department. And uh, Reese Haskins, two knocks tonight, also scoring one of the Phil's eight runs. He had a pretty good knock, but another two knocks. Uh, a 294 average. Uh, so, he, uh, you know, collection RBI on that RBI single, 40 RBIs. And then we have another guy in this team that now has 40 plus RBIs. Another guy, 730 OPS. And this keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Uh, over his last seven games, batting 500 uh, with, uh, you know, way above 1,000 OPS. Over his last 30, so pretty much the last month. Uh, almost hitting 400 at 374, uh, 397 OBP, and a 504 slugging. I mean, this guy has just been on an absolute tear. He's hitting everything hard. I mean, everything's, you know, solid contact off the bat. I mean, uh, this guy is just hitting the ball on a rope. I mean, a lot of line drives coming off of Alcombe's bat. Derek Hall, uh, only one. It was a big one. The two RBI triples, first career triple. Uh, so congratulations to Derek Hall. I mean, that's certainly, uh, you know, an accomplishment for sure. Uh, I mean, despite the 256 batting average, I mean, he has an OPS at 819, 819 OPS uh, as a rookie through uh, 82 at bats, I'd say he's pretty impressive for sure. And Nick Castellanos, uh, three hits on the night, three singles, uh, one of them being an RBI single, and he also scores uh, one of the fills, uh, eight runs tonight. 
Uh, so Nicky actually had a pretty good night, a 251 average now, and his OPS comes up a few points now at 663. Uh, but I mean, if you have not gone and checked out that video uh, breaking down Nick Castellanos' struggles, please go check it out. I, I thought I did a pretty good job with that one. Uh, and uh, Bryson's one knock tonight. So he gets a start at second. And uh, Diego Gores did one knock. It was the RBI single. Uh, so uh, you know, later in the ballgame, two score Nick Castellanos. Uh, and uh, Matt Veeling gets a start out in center over Oduba Herrera. Uh, scores two runs. Uh, and also uh, he has two hits tonight. Uh, so a 234 average. I mean, he was starting to call off there for a while, and uh, he actually had a pretty good night tonight. I actually uh, was pretty impressed with him. He had, he had a couple ducks on the pond, though. I will say that second and third, two out, and he struck out, but still, he actually had a pretty good night. Garrett Stubbs uh, gets to start with him and played his GT Muto, gets the day off. Uh, and uh, Stubbs uh, did collect a knock tonight behind home plate and also uh, scored one of the Phil's eight runs. Uh, Zach Weir, seven uh, innings, three hits, uh, two runs and two were earned, three walks and eight strikeouts. A 2.77 ERA gets a win down nine and five on the year. I mean, he still you know, had a very good night despite allowing that two run home run. I mean, the fastball still looked pretty good. Uh, you know, this is a time of year where you got to kind of pay attention to that. going to start waning a little bit. I mean, uh, you're definitely going to see maybe a little drop. I mean, not, not, not too significant, especially right now, but when once you kind of get near, you know, September. So from like like a month from now or so, I think you might see that. Uh, but I mean, he still has it. I mean, this guy you know, is still dialed in. He's still one of the best pitchers in baseball. Uh, you know, by far. And uh, Corey Knable, a great uh, bottom of the eighth inning there. Uh, despite walking one, he also struck out one, gets the job down. A 2.72 ERA continues to just look so comfortable in that setup role. Uh, and uh, Jerry Smiley, I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, this guy, like awful, is an understatement for this guy. This guy is dreadful. He's pathetic. Uh, I, I, I'm tired of him. I, I'm just tired of seeing him. I, even like a, like a game like this where you have six runs, isn't that just sad? Isn't that just sad when you're up six runs, you still have to worry about this? Uh, putting this guy in the game. I mean, I, seriously, I mean, four hits, five runs, all five earned, one walk, and one strikeout. A six ERA? Uh, I mean, get out. I mean, get out. DFA, DFA, DFA. I mean, uh, seriously, I mean, he needs to be DFA by tomorrow morning. Uh, I mean, why in the world are we keeping Mark Capel? I mean, a guy that was doing so much better. Uh, then uh, Jerry Springer, I understand, you know, I didn't pitch as many games, but uh, I mean, why in the world are you keeping him down? And why in the world are you keeping Francisco Morales down? I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm more annoyed about the Mark Capel. I mean, I think we need to let Francisco Morales develop more. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely in agreement with that. But I mean, uh, Mark Capel should be up here over Jerry Familia all day of the week. I mean, designate this guy for Simon. Devin Gombrowski is the one that gave him the six million dollars. Uh, so he has nobody else to blame but himself for that one. I never would have given him that. Uh, I, I don't know what in the world he was thinking. Uh, and Sorrento Dominguez had to come in. I mean, we had to bring our closer in. Well, when we were originally up 8 nothing in this game, hey, Zach Lear made a little mistake. Then he allowed the two-run shot. I mean, that doesn't matter. We shouldn't have to bring in your closer uh, when we were once up uh, 8 nothing. I mean, even in an 8-2 game, I mean, uh, you know, going in that inning, I mean, you shouldn't have to bring in your closer. And unfortunately, we did. We had to do it because Jerry Smilia, uh, you know, just you know, got us in so much trouble. So, uh, he uh, very quickly uh, collected two outs, uh, and uh, he also collected his uh, sixth save of the season. So, and Dominguez seems like he actually wants to pitch and actually wants to win. Uh, so, Jerry Smilia tried whatever he could to try to lose his game, and uh, luckily he was unsuccessful. As the Phillies win the first game of his four-game series uh, against the Pittsburgh Pirates, we have a 7-5 uh, uh, start tomorrow night. Bailey Falter gets the opener start. I'm so tired of seeing this opener start. I mean, hopefully by August 2nd we acquire a new starting pitcher. I mean, I love to see like a Noah Syndergaard. Some of you understand the injuries are a problem, uh, but he's a lefty. And I, I'm just so tired of seeing Bailey Falter get the opener start. 0-3 with a 5-1-8 year Ray and Quintana on the mound for Pittsburgh. 3-5 and five with a 3-7-0 year Ray. Uh, so I fully expect another win tomorrow, uh, but it's going to be a little bit harder. And, uh, you know, one thing that I'm really not happy about is the Pirates are definitely going to have some momentum going in with their offense tomorrow. I mean, uh, they're feeling pretty good scoring, uh, you know, seven unanswered against this Phillies team. Uh, saying that if Connor Schwarber didn't hit that three-run home run, we would have lost this game. They let that sink in. Uh, the Phillies won tonight uh, as they are now tied for the third wild card spot. So uh, hopefully the Cardinals, uh, you know, go on a long losing streak, but I don't think they're going to. But unfortunately, they are about to go and play the Washington Nationals in Washington, D.C. Uh, but I mean, who knows? The Nationals took two or three from the Dodgers, so, you know, who knows? Hopefully they do well against the Cardinals. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please don't get your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, check out the social media. Link in the description section at Police Ads of Media, Instagram, Instagram, follow me on Twitter, happy ads of media, car text 267-225-3392, email me, Philly Science and Media at gmail.com. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you later. Let's go Bills. I'll see you guys.